There are several things that we have to consider in the movement of lands from water to uh, land existence, the kinds of uh, factors that the plants had to evolve against. In transiting to land, we can look at a comparison of from the aquatic to the land environments relative to resource availability and how they're acquired, the pull of gravity, competition for light, and water availability. Now, in an aquatic environment, the resources are all surrounding the plant and directly in contact with it uh, as, part of the, as part of the water. Uh, gravitation has very little effect. There's little competition for light because light doesn't go very deeply in the water, and so therefore the plants are sort of uh, oriented towards a fairly uh, narrow band of light availability. And water, by definition, is available in the aquatic environment. Whereas on land, the resources are isolated uh, between the soil and the air. There is a constant pull of gravity tending to pull the plant parts down. There is high competition for light so that those uh, organisms that are right at the surface are going to compete with those that can, can get higher up. And, and shade those out. So there's going to be a tendency to grow taller. And water is limited in availability, so there's going to be a need to conserve water as well to, as to gather water. So we'll look at how each one of these is, is covered by different kinds of new adaptations of structures on plants in the next video. Let's quit there.